I don't really get in a lot of trouble, you know. Just, just 30 days here, 30 days there. I'm not a felon. I was shoplifting. It was a bottle of vodka. Uh, like, I, I was on the farm, and uh, my girl wasn't out there yet, so, you know, I wanted to get laid, so I just kind of took a little hiatus and came into town, and uh, I was getting drunk with this, you know, lady that I met, and then, you know, what played out the way it did, and I, I just ended up stumbling out of her house in the Rite Aid, you know, kind of drunk, and, t and grabbed a bottle and a hat and some more, like, just, I was just drunk. I didn't know what I was doing, right. so I it just kind of progressed from there. I didn't even go in there to steal anything, you know. I just went in there to fuck with the people that were working, you know, because I was so drunk. I just wanted to, you know, just see, just see, just see what what I could get going. I usually travel with a with a group, you know. I play music and stuff too, so I'm usually in a band or something. I usually it's usually somewhere that I've got to be or something to do, yeah. And no, really, no, really, like it's the between, you know. It's they say it's it's not the. Uh, it's not the destination, it's the journey. Yeah. That's one thing I try not to walk around with some sense of entitlement. Like, I, I went to jail. I fucking was drunk and did some dumb shit. Like, it's, it's, it's on me to figure it out. It's, it's everything like that, that got me to where I am, I'm at as a result of some decision that I made. You know what I'm saying? Like. I would have walked up here and started asking people to help me get down the road. Like, I would have been here probably five minutes before that lady kicked me out. Like, I said, you got to go somewhere, you know? This is how it is. And they're like, it's nothing. I'm not upset about it, you know? It's just the way things are.